Welcome to the Sarah Fit Show, the latest healthy living info brought to you by SarahFit.com. Today I'm sharing with all of you some of my favorite school lunch ideas. And don't forget, Sarah Fit fans get 20% off a pair of Dick's Cotton sunglasses until this Friday. So make sure you go and visit Dick'sCottons.com to get your pair of sunglasses today. Well, when I was younger, I hated bringing sandwiches because I felt that they always got soggy. So I actually never even really had a sandwich until I was in high school and I needed the extra energy. And during that time period, my go-to was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now the key to making sure it doesn't get soggy is to use a good whole grain or sprouted bread. So my recommendation is to use Ezekiel bread and use an all natural organic peanut butter. This is uh, actually not organic peanut butter because for some reason, Whole Foods recently decided to add some sugar and oil to their organic creamy peanut butter. What's up with that, Whole Foods? So anyway, so I bought the regular, but that just goes to show, always read the label. Um, and then also you can pair that with a jelly. Here I have organic strawberry fruit spread. If you don't want to use a jelly or you don't want to use any added sugar, you can also slice up a banana. So do a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Now. When you do that, you still might need a little extra protein. So I would recommend if you're gonna do the peanut butter and jelly sandwich to have a yogurt. Here today I have a non-fat Greek style yogurt. And this here has 14 grams of protein. So that's awesome. And there's only 110 calories in this. Uh, typically I like to get unsweetened yogurt, but this is pomegranate and there's 11 grams of sugar. If you want, you can get the regular, add your own stevia. If you're not a vegetarian, a great way to make quick sandwiches in the morning is to use sliced turkey or a pre-made salad, like this low-fat tuna salad I got today at Whole Foods. For about two servings, it's actually only $2.50, which isn't bad for Whole Foods. So basically, you might want to put that in a separate container before you mix it so you don't get the bread soggy. Uh, for the turkey, a great idea is to do turkey, some sprouts. You can even spread some cheese. Here I have Laughing Cow, so it's already portioned out, or you can do a thin slice of Swiss cheese, some whole grain mustard, a slice of lettuce, and there you go. Uh, if you X out the lettuce and you just use uh, sprouts, then you really don't need to cut anything at all, and it takes literally two minutes to make that sandwich. So right there we do have kind of a complete meal, and for an added snack I would recommend a handful of almonds, about 15 is 100 calories, so between 15 and 30 is a good idea. And then if you have an after-school activity, an apple is also a great addition. And lastly, another vegetarian idea is that if you want, you can make a sandwich with some hummus, some cheese on some Ezekiel bread. Again, you might need some extra protein, so add some nuts, add some yogurt if you're not a vegan, and you want to add some vegetables so that you have some good vitamins in there for your lunch. And so I recommend having some organic celery or you can do any chopped veggies that will keep well like carrots or broccoli or cauliflower. You can even do a little side of ranch dressing if you'd like or you could do a side of uh, some hummus. And lastly I've got some string cheese as well which has some protein in it and it's already portioned out. 60 calories for a light, 80 calories for a regular. And string cheese are salty so for those of you who want something salty in your lunch this is a great low calorie idea. I hope you enjoyed these back to school lunch ideas. Please share your own down below in the comments. And as always, subscribe to Sarah's Fab channel and I'll see you guys real soon.